Hey, what's going on everybody? If you uh, love Harley Davidsons and you like to buy parts, this is probably the channel for you because I have consistently spent money on stuff that I don't need uh, for the bike over the past year. Uh, today I'm going to talk about an oil cooler uh, cover or screen, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I bought the bike, I've had, I've had it a year now, Lowrider uh, S. Uh, bought it new at the dealership, got home. Um, actually on the way home, it was about an hour, hour ride home or so. Uh, I noticed how gross the oil cooler got, and I thought like, hey, front tire throws a stick or a rock or something stupid on the road up, um, it's going to smash and anything destroy it, so I figured I could get a screen or a cover. Um, I went down a different path with buying part after part after part, and uh, yesterday I saw uh, this screen on Amazon, uh, says direct fitment, it was $8.99, which is 9 bucks. I probably spend that. Uh, nine bucks on energy drinks or some other bull crap that I don't need anyway, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, came today, still in the bag, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna open it up, take a look at it, uh, see what it looks like, and then I'll cut the camera, turn it around, toss it on, let you guys see what it looks like before and after, um, and then I guess I can talk about the quality. So before that, let's open it up. Of course, it's got a ridiculous amount of tape on it. <laughs> triple package so it's in that brown paper bag and then uh another blue plastic chinese piece of crap crap bag for youtube crap uh, then we got more foam inside and inside the foam bubble wrap so if you're worried about this thing uh <laughs> breaking in shipment Oh man, bubble wrap and then some more foam. So let's go with uh, the best packaging ever. But here it is. Um, it looks pretty good actually. It's gloss black on the front, if you can tell. It's flat on the back. Um, looks like it should fit pretty nicely. Um, so it goes this way, that through bolt on your low rider ass is what's gonna hold it in place. Other than that, there's nothing else holding it in place. So that's it, it, uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, move you over to the bike here in a second, show you what it looks like without this on, and then I'll cut to you with it on to see the difference. But overall, like it looks pretty good. Um, there's no scratches, not messed up or anything, and for only a few bucks, not a big deal. So that's it. I'll take you over there. All right. So before I put it on, here's the uh, here's the oil cooler. If you can see this scratch right here, that was actually the very first day I bought it on the way home. So all we're gonna do is uh. Take this out right here, pull the cover off, um, set that uh, set that in just in this position, put that right back on. So I'm going to knock that out and then I'll bring the camera back. Hey guys, so it's on. Um, it took a little bit of finessing. I actually uh, thought about trimming it at first and then I realized if you set the cover um, on, a, on a flat surface and you push down, it pops right in, so I honestly was gonna trim it. I'm spinning you around so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's the cover. Uh, sorry, it's like 100 degrees outside, so I'm a little out of breath. But this is the cover, like I'm saying. So if you see, these corners are really tight. Um, originally, I thought it might have to be trimmed to fit, but if you set this on a flat surface, put your hand on this, push down, it'll pop in, um, and then it's really easy to put in. So there's the finished product. I think it looks better. A little more complete. And for eight dollars, not gonna complain. But that's it. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you next time. 